again, Femi X8 Mini, another update. Two in two days. If we go here and we look at what our firmware is, we have 1013D. And we have camera 2011A. There is an update for the flight controller which says it optimizes gimbal stabilization. Hmm. Let's try an update here. Start the update. It's a very small one. So let's see what it does. Update is complete. And we see that the firmware has gone to 1014G. Okay, so to make this proper, we're gonna shut everything down and start again. Okay, we've just updated the latest firmware from today. And it is Screeching halt. This is what I found in post production here. See those five marks? Uh, it seems that the flight controller update reverted some default settings and it set my maximum speed to 8 meters per second. I had it at 16. It set my flight maximum distance to 1000 meters. I had it at unlimited. It set my return to home value at 30 meters. I had it at 50 meters and it turned off my precision landing that I had turned on. And it also turned off the aircraft indicator, which is your LED lights at the back. However, they were on because I'm always watching for the green lights and the red lights, so I don't know what's going on there. So, several things it does turn off. Just be wary of it. So, just a warning, check over the entire app once you do any kind of update. Some things change, some things don't. Just a warning, you know, just be careful. Use your own risk. Okay? Let's get back to it. Firmware 1014G. Camera is 2011A, which was updated yesterday from 2009C. What else has changed? Well, we go to the camera. We still have to do that part. Average H264. Okay, remember that, H264. I can also use H265, which is great. H264 for computers and stuff that are four years old or more. 265 for the newer computers. That's great. So I'm still at 1080p 30. So let's take it up and just see what's going on. I mean, did they change anything in the gimbal? I can calibrate the gimbal. Pitch speed is 50%. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's okay. Advanced settings. My gimbal gain is at 100, which is in the middle, which is great. I don't want to change anything. Let's just see if the firmware has done its job. Let's get it up in the air, just for a quick one. And it's up there about the four and a half meters, and it should stop. Everything's on auto. So let's get it up. We're going to worry about hovering. It's about as stable as it's going to get. This new camera stuff, yeah, the it's a little bit more saturated, but in some cases I don't mind it. I did notice that the spotlighting is a little better. I don't have as much of a problem with that. So let's get it up to about 40 or 50 mark. And let's take a look at that horizon. 
can't really tell from there. It looks off, but it's not really when I turn around. Here we go. So let's go forward a bit. We're just going to turn it around. See the horizon? It's not bad. I think it's around here that it's really, f yeah. This would be the flat area there. So it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. So let's go down this way. And if we tilt that camera up to the blueness and go full forward, what happens? It brings it down again. That's good. That's okay, because they say that's inevitable. So you really can't look up. But, better than before, because it used to come way down. Okay, so let's bring this down again. See the white line there? It's not bad. You know? And there's the horizon there. It's pretty good. So we'll go around. And we'll see what happens here. Again, that camera's not too bad. The colors aren't bad. Okay, I don't know if it did anything or not, but it doesn't seem to drop down as much as it did before, which is good. So we'll full stick forward now. Yeah, we're doing good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into here. It says precision landing. My precision landing is turned off, okay, because I don't have a contrasting thing. So when I hit return to home, It should come pretty close, and that's all I want, okay? Uh, I do remember that it was turned on before, a couple updates ago, but I really don't pay much attention to precision landing. Okay, so on the screen, it looks pretty good. On the screen, the colors look pretty good, but I know that when you blow that screen up on the computer, it's pretty blotchy. So it's coming down. How close is it going to be? We're down to 30 meters? Yeah, it's pretty close. It's pretty close. So I'm assuming that the precision landing takes a bit of computing power. And it comes down. Yeah, I don't mind that camera update. There we go. 